Bentley Motors Limited is a British manufacturer and marketer of luxury cars and SUVs, and a subsidiary of the Volkswagen Group since 1998, and consolidated under Volkswagen premium brand Arm Audi since 2022. Today most Bentley models are assembled at the company's crew factory, with a small number assembled at Volkswagen's Dresden factory, Germany, and with bodies for the Continental manufactured in Zwickau, and for the Bentley Bentayga manufactured at the Volkswagen Bratislava plant. The Bentley brand began in 1919, and was purchased by Rolls-Royce in the early 1930s. At the beginning of 2003, BMW bought Bentley. All modern-day Bentley vehicles are produced at the Crew England facility. Every Bentley car or SUV is hand-built by trained artisans. From the engine to the upholstery, every piece of a Bentley vehicle is designed right at the England facility by specific individuals. Some of the parts may even be signed by the craftsperson who put it into place. As one can imagine, this hand-crafted process takes a significant amount of time. A Bentley Continental GT two-door car takes approximately 150 hours to build, while a Bentley Arnage four-door sedan takes about 400 hours. That's what makes a Bentley vehicle so impeccable and expensive. If you are interested in buying a Bentley, you can even visit the factory to hand-pick the materials that you'd like in your new Bentley car or SUV. Both relaxing and exhilarating, a Bentley represents an intensely personal journey. For the driver, it means entering a world of luxurious high performance. For the brand, it represents the skills, passion and pride of Bentley people. Their craftsmanship is evident throughout, right down to the initials carefully etched into the upholstery inside every car. An individual hallmark of absolute quality. The factory produces the engine from scratch, starting from this rather unassuming block. It takes 30 engineers over 12 hours to build one engine. Every engine comes with a plaque engraved by the lead engineer who built it. You'd be proud too, if you'd built one of those beasts. Once a week, an engine undergoes a full audit test, running the engine at speeds up to 6,000 revolutions per minute.
At least Pim's Lane factory has a rich history of engine production, producing around 26,000 Merlin engines between 1938 and 1945. The legacy is continued today with Bentley's position as the world's largest producer of the W12 petrol engine. However, the factory is now preparing for an exciting new era of electrification. Bentley aims to be end-to-end -end carbon neutral by 2030, switching the entire model range to battery electric vehicles. The company plans to become a global leader in sustainable luxury transport, driven by a huge transformation program across Bentley's entire manufacturing operation. At first glance, the Bentley Continental GT assembly line looks similar to that of most other cars, but some things set Bentley's build process apart. Early in the assembly process, workers hoist the entire wiring harness into the body shell as one unit. The harness weighs about 100 pounds, and moved using a small crane. It includes nearly 5 miles of wiring, 2,300 circuits, and 92 electronic control units, according to the documentary. Workers have 9 minutes to route wires and plug everything in before the car moves on to the next station. A ceiling-mounted conveyor carries the car from station to station, where various components are added. All running gear, including the engine, transmission, axles, and suspension is married to the body at once. The 6.0-liter twin-turbocharged W12 engine depicted here makes 626 horsepower and 664 pound-feet of torque, which gets a Bentley Continental GT Coupe from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 3.6 seconds, and onto a top speed of 207 miles per hour. A 4.0-liter twin-turbo V8 is also available, and a hybrid powertrain is likely to follow soon. Away from the assembly line, Bentley employs 500 people just to make leather upholstery for his cars. Each Bentley Continental GT Coupe uses the heights of up to 12 European bulls, and they're all hand inspected for quality. Machines cut out the leather pieces, but humans sew them together. Wood trim gets similar attention to detail. Veneers are mirror matched, so that everything looks a single piece of wood. Bentley recently announced plans to shed 1,000 jobs, or about 25% of its workforce. The news came shortly before crew ended production of the flagship Bentley Mulsanne sedan. The factory will continue to build the Bentley Continental GT, the related Flying Spur sedan, and the Bentley Bentayga SUV, with an electric model expected in 2026.
Every car undergoes a 500 to 650 point checklist before final sign-off, dependent on options. More than 3,700 employees work in the factory, most of whom are from the local area. Many of the employees have direct relatives who work or have worked in the crew factory. This is the Bentley Mulsanne, Bentley's flagship luxury vehicle, full of all the hand-crafted wood and hand-stitched leather you'd expect on a top-end car with a price tag clocking in at over $360,000. It takes 400 hours to produce just one Mulsanne from start to finish, a process that includes hand-building the W12 engine, over 5,800 spot welds in the bodywork, mostly done by hand, and 150 hours of hand-stitching the leather interior. The cars start out in this rather unassuming skeletal form. It's in the body in white facility, where all the welding for Bentley's cars are performed.
color is as individual as the customer who specifies it. If none of the 88 colors in Bentley's extended palette reflects the personality of the owner, they create their own. Matching paint to a customer's treasured item is a painstaking process, and the application process is no less so. Each car is corrosion-proof before the primer and top coat are applied. The curvature of the body means paint must be applied in different depths to appear even, which is why each one is hand-sprayed with color. Once lacquered, each car is fine sanded before being polished with lamb's wool for 12 hours. To achieve an appearance so reflective it's termed the Bentley mirror finish. Opening the door of a Bentley can reveal the indulgent permanence of sustainable wood, with the foundation of solid walnut, cherry, or oak visibly running through the dashboard, and overlaid with a choice of many different veneers. The story of this wood does not begin in crew, but in every corner of the world, where exotic trees grow for up to 200 years before being harvested. 
after the root burl has been steamed and finely sliced into 0.6 mm thick bundles of veneer. Bentley veneer experts travel to wherever it may be to check every inch, a process that takes two days. The final selection process occurs at crew, when the veneer is chosen by the craftsperson who will transform it. Only the most highly figured areas of veneer are chosen, before being mirror matched and applied to the substrate. After sanding to create a smooth surface, each part is lacquered before being cured for 72 hours. When cured, it is sanded and polished again before being fitted to the car. A few specialists spend 8 hours per car, smoothing down part of a protruding weld by a fifth of a millimeter using hand tools. A machine could do the same job, but would not give a surface finish that was perfect, the company argues. Some Bentley owners, at least, would notice the difference. But as well as the sort of manual labor that recalls a bygone age, the company's production methods also feature technology that would not look out of place in an advanced aerospace plant. Bentley's cars would never have gained their global reputation for excellence, but for computer-aided mathematical modeling, precision cutting machines and advances in engineered materials including alloys of steel and aluminium. So far Bentley has managed to avoid any repercussions from the scandal surrounding Volkswagen, the German automotive giant that has owned it since 1998. Volkswagen admitted in 2015 that it had installed defeat devices on up to 11 meters diesel cars as a way to falsify exhaust emissions readings. Cleaning up the damage from the ruse could cost VW more than 12 billion pounds in legal costs and product modifications, as well as denting the reputation of a brand previously regarded as a paragon of German industrial superiority. The affair could have an impact on some of Volkswagen subsidiaries such as Bentley, for instance by reducing the funds available for investment. For the moment, however, Bentley is continuing to reap rewards from Volkswagen past largesse and providing finance for product development and new equipment. Even with the new model, however, Bentley does not intend to change its emphasis on craft-based manufacturing techniques. The approach helps to explain why it takes 400 hours to complete each of the company's flagship Bentley Mulsanne cars 17 times longer than it takes to build one of Volkswagen high-volume Golf models. Bentley's growth holds clear lessons for other United Kingdom-based manufacturers. A strong brand in a niche market, backed by high levels of technical skill and heavy investment, can achieve success, even if volumes are modest.
And if the companies can open up new markets, those volumes can expand significantly. Hides are sourced from Northern Europe, where the temperate climate and lack of barbed wire fencing means the hides are mostly free from the imperfections caused by scratches and biting insects. Nonetheless, each hide is checked and marked by hand, an eye before being precision cut. Of the hundreds of hours it takes to build a Bentley, many are dedicated to creating the sumptuous leather interior, before additional options are considered. Stitched, shaped and finished entirely by hand, the completed seats, doors and other leather accoutrements rival the quality of the finest furniture, the contrast stitching alone takes anywhere between 20 and 40 hours to complete. A Bentley craftsperson would be able to correctly identify whether the cross stitching inside of Bentley is their work by the stitching alone, to check you could find their initials etched onto the inside of the upholstery. A mark of accountability and pride that is consistent throughout the build process. The steering wheel of the Mulsan takes one person five hours to produce, and includes 620 individual stitches from 10 feet of thread. Scissors and a fork may seem like the most low-tech tools you could expect to find in a luxury car factory, but they're tried and tested items that for years have allowed workers to achieve the quality required in Bentley's leather components. It takes roughly 150 hours to stitch the interior trim on the Mulsan. That's a lot of needlework.
One of the things that make Bentley models stand out is its beautifully elaborate interior. All its interior is handcrafted, setting a standard for other luxury cars. Every wood sheet used in the car comes from the exact tree. This is to make sure the pattern is uniform throughout. Moreover, the leather used in the interior is top quality. An interesting fact about Bentley is that each new luxury coupe takes about 2 miles of thread and 9 northern European bull hides. The person making each leather panel places their initials on the reverse side, so that the auto manufacturer knows who is responsible for the selection. A lot of time and effort goes into building Bentley car models. For example, it takes around 110 hours to make a Bentley Continental GT. Moreover, other models, including the Continental Flying Spur sedan and the Bentayga are built in around 130 hours each. A lesser known fact about Bentley is that its most time-consuming model to build is the Mulsanne. It takes about 400 hours to build a Mulsanne from start to finish. On average, 5 Mulsans, 26 Continental Flying Spurs and Continentals, 31 Bentaygas are built in a day. It takes about 14 hours and around 30 engineers to build one Bentley W12 engine. Moreover, almost 5 days are required to complete Mulsans interior trim.
Okay, cool. Inside the main assembly hull operate two lines, one for the Bentley Bentayga and one for Bentley Continental and Bentley Flying Spur models. Here is where every aspect of the car comes together. Wiring looms must be connected, dashboards must be fitted, engines married, the iconic matrix grille united with the front fenders, wheels attached, windscreens bonded, and seats inserted, all by the 702 Bentley employees who work in main assembly. When all of these elements and more have come together by hand, each car is checked by eye for quality against a 500 to 650 point checklist. Not all checks can take place, while the car is stationary, so each undergoes a 4 mile drive on a rolling road, and 14 miles on the Cheshire Road surround the factory, when specialists listen and feel for sounds and vibrations, to ensure the character is absolutely right. To ensure the car is completely watertight, each car is sprayed with 1,820 liters of water in a process referred to as the monsoon test, before it is thoroughly checked. Finally, each car is valeted and checked a final time in the new state-of-the-art delivery center before it can be signed off for the customer.
20 cars per week, undergo a full audit, which includes full function, road test, around 40 miles per test, and a full interior and exterior check. All aspects of the cars are checked at every stage of production. Three cars are also selected every week and checked by an independent auditor. Thank you.